Hey, my name is Ben. Uh, I'm a final year student at the University of Leeds. I uh, study computing, uh, specialising more or less in computer graphics. Um, I thought it would be quite cool for me to uh, put a few video tutorials on YouTube, uh, hope to teach you a little bit about programming graphics using uh, Direct 3D9. Um, Direct 3D9 is a, a graphics API provided by Microsoft which allows people like me and you to uh, code up some cool programs uh, that display nice graphics on our computer. Um, uh, people who, who generally want to learn these things uh, have got a good interest in uh, maybe <coughs> writing graphics for the Xbox 360 or the Xbox or Windows. Um, and really, yeah, that's all good. Um, prerequisites for this course, I suppose. You gotta know C++. Yeah, there's, there's no two ways about it. Uh, if you don't know C uh, C++, then you're really gonna struggle because you know graphics programming in general is hard enough you know, without having to struggle over the syntax of the language you're using. Um, <coughs> I suppose it's trying to read Shakespeare before you learn English. It's not very good. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I generally I endorse graphics programming across the spectrum. You know, I'm not I'm not just a direct 3D guy. I do a bit of OpenGL as well. You know, um, you want to check out Lucika Mage. She's done some really good uh, video tutorials using C++ and Allegro. Uh, I'll put up her link. Um, video tutorials rock.com is, is another set of really good video tutorials on OpenGL. <coughs> um, if you're brand new to graphics programming, you, you, I really advise you to look at OpenGL because although it's just as powerful, you know, I consider it to have a shallower learning curve initially than Direct 3D. Um, if you want to know some cool things that people are doing in the indie scene with computer graphics and computer games, check out Jairo Vorbis's channel. I'll stick a link up uh, to him as well because. Uh, he's got a team of guys now doing some crazy stuff, you know. They're building a, a full blown RPG um, using OpenGL, SDL, and Costilios, I think. Um, and they're, they're writing an engine, a uh, tool set, uh, they've got scripting. Uh, I think about a team of 10 people or something like that now. You know, it's really, really good to watch, so I'll stick that up. But yeah, anyway, if you're really interested, um, yeah. Hop on board. <laughs> Alright, I've got Firefox loaded up right now. Uh, I'm going to tell you how to get the Microsoft DirectX SDK, which is what we're going to use. If you just Google Direct, DirectX SDK, it'll be the first hit. And then you just want to get the latest version for you. Currently it's August 2008. But it might be different for you if you're watching it in, in, a, in a year's time or something. Click that. Uh, you make sure you want. Make sure you've got the DirectX software development kit. And that's what we want. Um, good way to tell is that it's 463 megabytes. It's, a, it's always a massive file. Um, and it's a good way to tell that you've actually got the software development kit. And then hit download. You probably get an MSI, uh, which is basically click next installer program, like all Windows installer programs do. Uh, yeah, click next, keep installing it, and then you'll be ready. Alright, well, here we are in Visual Studio. Uh, this, is the, uh, uh, this is the compiler and IDE that I like to use to write my programs. Um, <coughs> uh, I've created a new project called D3D Tutorials and a new header file called app.hpp. Take a look at that file. Uh, we'll find in here uh, the guard conditions. If you, uh, I presume you're a C++ programmer, so you'll know what they're all about. Uh, if you don't know what they're all about, then just look them up on Google. You know. Uh, then I include Windows.h. Now, Windows.h is a header file that contains uh, function prototypes, amongst other things, that allow allow us to do GUI programming. And the whole aim of this uh, tutorial is to just pop up a window and, and link it to our graphics card um, so uh, we want to do the GUI, GUI programming uh, and we'll use windows.h for that uh, the next thing I'm going to include is d3dx9.h and that basically is just uh, everything to do with direct3d 
uh, 9. So we'll include that. Um, then I've got a couple of global functions. The first one is uh, handles uh, any messages that Windows might pass us. Uh, I call it WND proc. Um, it's called that, you know, it's probably tradition just to call it that. So I call it that as well. <laughs> um, I'm not really going to explain or go into much about Windows programming because, you know, I'm trying to do some graphics programming here and if I did go into it in detail, it'd take like, you know, you'd have a, it'd be like a six hour long tutorial and I really don't want that. <laughs> um, but I will gloss over the main points. And I suppose the main point of this function is it will receive a, an unsigned integer which will be a message from Windows. Um, you probably all know that Windows is, is an, a, essentially an event driven piece of software uh, for the most part and because uh, we're creating a, a window which is going to be part of Windows then we're going to be able to, we're going to have to uh, get events from, win, uh, from Windows. We're gonna have to, Windows is going to have to pass as events basically. Um, what I mean by events is, uh, say I'll, I move the mouse like this, uh, then this uh, will be an event which Windows will register and it will pass us, as long as it's to do with the window that we're going to create, it will pass us uh, this message saying the user has moved the mouse and then we can deal with that event in whatever way we want. You know, if the user moves the mouse, we may say move two paces to the left or something like that You know, in our graphics programming. Um, the second global function is actually the main entry point of our program. Uh, we're going to use winmain. Uh, if you're C++ programmers, you've probably used int main a lot. Um, we decided to use winmain because uh, we really need this uh, handle to the instance here that Windows will pass us upon execution of the program. Uh, and bas basically, this is just uh, uh, the instance of our program, <laughs> and we need this to be able to uh, link link up the window um, you know, into Direct3D. We need it for a multitude of reasons which I'll explain in a little later on. Um, we create two global variables here. Uh, we've got iDirect3D9 which is basically uh, the interface to Direct3D9 and, and you can think of it as just uh, a representation of Direct3D9 itself. Um, uh, I'm going to do, define a point to that and just call it g underscore pd3d going to use the Hungarian notation because it's quite clear I think and then the second global variable is uh, idirect3d device 9 and you can really think of this as just um, an abstract representation of the computer's graphics card uh, anything we want to do with the graphics card, any information we want to send to the graphics card we'll, we'll do using this pointer uh, then I define a couple of uh, definitions here uh, window width, window height, it's quite self explanatory really. It's the height and width of the window in pixels. Change that's 200. Um, and create a nice 200 by 200 um, window, pixel window. And, and the last thing I do in this uh, app.hpp file is just define a macro called error, which we will use if any anything goes wrong anything fails we can call this error uh, pass, uh, pass a uh, character array and basically it'll just pop up a message box saying something went wrong you know whatever whatever this message says you know this message might say something went wrong and then it'll pop up a message box saying displaying the, the information something went wrong um, message box is, is part of windows.h and it is literally just a uh, box that pops up saying some, you know, saying whatever you want basically. So I just define this macro for debugging purposes, and uh, that's app.hpp.